welcome to my very first YouTube video. So this is a little bit nerve wracking for me as this is gonna be my very first YouTube video that I'm putting out onto the internet. Um, but I'm just gonna show you guys how I've created my everyday lockdown kind of glam, quarantine, glam, whatever you wanna call it. I don't wear this every day I need to stress. I wear this on days where I either I'm not at work or I just feel like I need to put a little bit of effort in because recently I've become quite lazy and I don't wanna do anything when I get out of bed, but I'm trying to get more motivated, hence why I've started this channel. I am a paediatric nurse in Manchester, so this is I'm doing this as a little bit of an escape to get away from everything that's going on at the moment in the world, and it is a crazy, crazy situation that none of us ever expected ourselves to be in. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy, and if you wanna see how I did all of this using very, very Ford products, um, then please keep watching. Right, so I have got my hair back. I've just popped it back with a little hairband and I have done my brows. I've used the Morphe um, brow cream pomade thing um, in the shade Mocha and then I used the Morphe M158 brush to do them. I do, I've always used a pomade for my brows purely because I don't work very well with a pencil. Um, but I just filled them in and then feathered them through at the front and then just carved them out with concealer underneath. But I don't carve them out on top anymore, just underneath. So I'm gonna start with the skin first. So first things first, I'm gonna moisturize with my Olo Beauty Fluid. This is a new purchase with, for me, and I am actually really, really enjoying it. It's really, really super lightweight and really lovely. Now, as you can see, my skin has very, very kindly broken out for me. Um, I do suffer with mild acne. It's mainly around my chin um, area, which is actually hormonal. I found out very recently. So Mother Nature has come out in full force. So I'm gonna need a foundation um, that covers these. So a new gem I found is by Primark. I know Primark isn't open at the moment in the UK, but as soon as it is, get your hands on it. It's only five pounds and it is their double coverage matte foundation. That This is a really, really good full coverage foundation. Well, medium coverage foundation um, and it stays on all day for me. So it's really, really good. And I'm just gonna apply that with a flat top kabuki brush and then blend it out a bit more with my Morphe sponge. Apologies, this is really good. Sorry. <laughs> That is all my foundation nicely blended. I am just gonna add a little bit more on this um, patch here just cause this spot, I picked it and so it went a bit scabby. And so now it's really showing um, underneath my foundation. So I'm just gonna put a little bit more on top um, and then blend it out again with the brush. So that is my base on. Looks like this spot is here to stay. Um, I'm just gonna roll with it. It's there, she's here, Mother Nature's here. Let's just embrace the spot. So moving on to concealer. I am going to be using a mixture, purely because I'm running out and I haven't ordered any more. Um, I'm gonna be using a mixture of the e.l.f. Camo Concealer in this shade, Medium Sand, and then the Makeup Revolution Concealer and Define Concealer in C4. I didn't realise how light that was on camera. To be fair actually, I might be able to just get away with the e.l.f. concealer and blend it out and have a look. Yeah, I think that's enough. So I'm also just gonna pop some of that concealer on my chin, tie up my chin down the bridge of my neck. Oh, that was a bit much. Down the bridge of my nose, keep it bow, and just in between my eyebrows as well. And then blend that out. I'm gonna blend that out with a sponge this time. Okay, 
Okay, now before I go and set up the powder, I'm just gonna do my cream contour. I'm going to be using my Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define um, Concealer, and this is in the shade 13.5. So this is obviously much darker than my skin tone. And I'm just gonna pop this um, in the hollows of my cheeks and then just around my forehead to bronze up my skin. Okay, so that is all of the bronzer blended in. I actually forgot how much I, oh, that's the wrong one. I actually forgot how much I loved this concealer as a cream bronzer. I haven't used it in a very long time. I've just been kind of doing powder bronzers, but apologies again, um, But yeah, I just love how that's blended in. I'm going to move on to set my concealer. So I'm going to be taking, there's a lot of Makeup Revolution products in my video. Um, that's because I love them and they're so affordable. Um, but I'm going to be taking the Makeup Revolution powder in lace. I've had this for so long and I'm like there. <laughs> it lasts forever and ever. So I'm just going to tip some out into, into the lid. And then I'm going to, I learned this fact on Instagram. So I'm going to set my powder first. I'm just going to use, oh, my brushes are so old. I'm going to use this. Um, Real Techniques brush and I am just going to pat this underneath the eyes to set them and then I'm going to go over with excess powder afterwards. And then taking a bigger brush one like this I'm just gonna take it and then just dust it all over the face over that cream bronzer as well to set that in place so next up I'm gonna do my bronzer I'm going to be using the MAC makeup skin mineralized finish in dark golden again I've had these products for ages and ages the one thing with powders is that they do last a lot longer than creams and liquids. Um, don't know why, they just do. Um, I think I've had this. Oh god, I'm actually scared to say. I think I've maybe had it like three years. And it's, I can't, okay, I have dented it now. But it's still going strong and I love it. So I'm just gonna take this on. This is one of the um, unicorn brushes. This is just a big fluffy brush. And then I'm just going to go over. And then I am going to contour my nose using this bronzer powder. I'm going to take an eyeshadow brush. So this is just kind of a um, round top fluffy brush, but it's a little bit more compact. And then I'm just going to take a very tiny bit and tap off. And then I'll just... So next up now I've done my bronzer and I've done my nose. I don't like to contour my nose too much, um, just because I quite like my nose the way it is. Um, so I'm gonna take um, my Morphe palette. This is the Lo-Fi 8L palette. <laughs> I'm gonna be taking the shade Donut, which is this one down here. So a little bit about me. 
I am a paediatric nurse in Manchester. Not from Manchester originally, I moved up here to go to university. Um, I'm from down on the south coast of England. Moved up here to go to university and then I've just stayed ever since. I work at the children's hospital and I work on the children's burns unit. It is a little bit crazy at the moment. Our unit currently isn't even open. Um, so we're on a neurosurgical ward at the moment, which is fine. I'm with all my gals. So yeah, I'm just kind of using this as a little bit of a way to escape the madness that's going on at work. I don't get to get big glam at work. I am just in my uniform. My hair's on top of my head in a bun. I don't wear any makeup. So to do this and to kind of have a little bit of escape is something that I think I need right now. I think we all need a little bit of an escape right now because of everything going on. It's just a little bit of a crazy world out there. So if you enjoy this, please stay around for some more. But yes, I'm doing this as a little bit of an escape. So next up is blush. Apologies if I'm touching my hair, it's just habit, I just do it all the time. So I'm gonna be taking the W7 Matte Me Blush in the shade Up Above, and then I'm gonna be taking this again on another unicorn angled face brush, um, and then dabbing in this, and then just going right up here on the high points. So I do actually live in Manchester with my brother in a flat. However, at the moment, my brother is currently isolating down south with my parents. He was down there um, off work for a two week holiday, and then lockdown was announced. So he's been down there ever since and I've been living up here on my own, which has been fine. I'm just kind of getting used to it now. And it's gonna be weird when he comes back though because there's gonna be an extra person in the house that I just don't know how I'm gonna feel about it. And I do like to go across the bridge of the nose ever so slightly. And then finally, the final step on my face um, is highlighter. Now this is my favorite step. Now I, I know highlighter is kind of going a little bit, not out of fashion, but at the moment the trend is kind of soft matte glam, which again, I love. But when I do a full face of makeup, I could leave it there, but I just can't because highlighter just does things to me. So this is a new one for me, actually. It looks like I've had it for ages, but which is true. But I haven't used it very often, so I'm gonna properly try it out. So this is the Makeup Obsession Highlighter in Mega Honey, and it's like a really gorgeous champagne gold. And I'm just gonna be taking this on a tapered highlighter brush. Down a bit. Um, and then I do like to go just a little bit above eyebrows as well. Yes, I'm enjoying that. I will go back to this um, to do underneath my eyebrows in a second. Um, but yeah, that is all of the face makeup done. All of it, apart from one MAC product is all drugstore so it's really really affordable i do have the odd luxury um item in my makeup collection so higher end products but most of it is drugstore just because i feel that the drugstore is so on top of their game right now and they are just producing the most amazing makeup products i just love the drugstore so moving on to the eyes i have already primed already with concealer i'm going to be doing a very very simple eye as this is kind of like my everyday makeup look in quarantine so I'm going to be taking, I'm a little bit of a Morphe fan, I'm going to be taking my Morphe Artistry palette. This is the 3502 palette. So it looks like this. It's just so gorgeous. Like in those fiery red tones that I've used them before are just beautiful and they're really pigmented. But I'm going to be doing a very simple eye. I'm just going to be taking a nice warm brown all over the lid. So I think I'm going to go into, oh, I don't know. I think I'm gonna take a mixture of these two shades here in the palette and then just dust them all over my lid. I'm just going to take a 
really large fluffy brush and just kind of blend it out at the edges. I have recently washed all my brushes and then I started doing a little bit of makeup again. So I do apologise if some of the brushes aren't clean, but they've pretty much only had these shades on anyways. And then just kind of blend it all out. And then taking whatever's left on the brush, I'm not going to get any more product, I'm just going to run it under the eyes. Just to kind of tie the whole look in together. Perfect. So next up is going to be liquid liner. So I have been doing recently a more of a soft glam where I've been using a black eyeshadow and then smoking it out. But for this I do think I want more of a crisp line. Watch me start this now and change my mind. Or do I want a... So, once that's all been nice and blended in, I'm gonna go back into my palette, which I've just very kindly shot. <laughs> and I'm gonna go down here to these dark shades. Not so much the black, but I'm kind of gonna dip into these two here. And I'm going to use a very, very small angled brush, like so, like this. Um, and then I'm going to just create a wing and then I'm going to smoke it out with this pointed brush here. Um, apologies if I dip out of the camera. I'm going to try and do it as best as I can in the camera, but I do have to get quite close to my mirror to do this. But essentially, I'm going to be doing a winged look, but just with eyeshadow rather than liquid liner. I think that is as much as I'm gonna do. I only want a little wing, purely because I'm not going anywhere. So I don't wanna be spending hours and hours and hours on this really extensive wing. And whenever I do a winged eyeliner, whether it's with liquid or with eyeshadow or pencil, if I mess it up, then it always ends up being up to my temple. And we just don't need that. So I'm just gonna go finish this eye off camera and then we'll be right back to finish off the eyes. So guys, I just finished with the other eye. This wing did turn out a little bit bigger than this one, but I'm just gonna pretend it's not happening. Um, I did pop some mascara on. I just used the Maybelline Lash Sensational. I've, again, I've been using this for years, so I buy it, love it. I did pop some lashes on. I'd cut just to put on the ends of my eyes on the outside. Put them on and I looked ridiculous. So I've taken them off and I've just gone with mascara um, for today. So this is how everything has turned out so far. I am then going to dip back into my highlighter and get a very small brush, if I can find one in my pot, if I can get into my highlighter. I'm actually gonna take this pointed brush here, dip into it, and I'm just gonna go underneath. Oh. <laughs> underneath that brow. like so, and then again on the inner corner. Like so. And then finally to tie things off is my lips, and can't go wrong with a good old nude lip. I just love them. I'm gonna be taking my MAC Strip Down Liner, and then I'm gonna be taking MAC Lipstick Honey Love. I've been using, again, these two for years. I think MAC Honey Love was one of my very first MAC lipsticks that I owned. Um, I mean, MAC I feel like is a rite of passage for anyone who has makeup. Your first kind of high-end brand, I think, well, for most, people, most of my friends it's been MAC, and everyone has at least one MAC lipstick in their collection. 
staple classics i love them and then on top because i love a glossy lip i'm gonna go over with the rimmel on my gloss and then this in the shade uh, glossy cat <laughs> didn't realize it was called that so i'll be back once i've done my lips There you go, that is the lips. And then to finish off the look, I'm gonna go in with some setting spray. I do go in with two, and I realise that they're not on my desk. One second. I'm back. So the two I go in with are the Makeup Revolution Hyaluronic Fix setting spray. I was put onto this by a very big YouTuber on here called Rachel Leary. Uh, she is actually one of the people that's inspired me to start my own YouTube channel. I love her makeup, she is so talented, and she raves about this. So I picked it up and I can completely understand why she raves about it. It's amazing. And then I also do like to go in with my Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. But I am running low on this and the Morphe store in the in Manchester is obviously shut at the moment. I know you can order offline, um, but I've done a little bit too much ordering. So I'm trying to restrain myself from ordering anymore. Um, but I just can't help it. So I might have to because I know these are in the sale at the moment. But this is another really, really good um, setting spray. And it comes out as a continuous mist rather than separate pumps. Um, but I'm just going to go in with this one for now. Now oh, this is when I really wish I hadn't lost my Amnesia Fan at Warehouse Project. Oh, if you're wondering why I've got false nails on and I am a nurse, it's because I've currently been off for six days because I was meant to be um, in Amsterdam over the weekend, just gone for the Musicon Festival. However, with everything that's going on in the world right now, that unfortunately was postponed to next year. Um, so I thought I'd treat myself, I've had six days off, so I've put some false nails on, but these needed to do come off by tomorrow as I start shifts again. I've just taken my hair out of its hairband, but it's not doing what I want it to, so it's just gonna have to stay like this. But yeah, so this is the finished look. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I was gonna get changed out of my loungewear, but then I thought, I'm not actually going anywhere, so let me just stay in my loungewear anyways. For my first YouTube video, I hope you guys have enjoyed. Um, if anyone is watching out there, um, please like, comment, and subscribe. I know everyone says it, I do apologize. I hope to make many more during this lockdown procedure, or lockdown process, or situation, or life that we're all in, um, as a little bit of escape to what's going on for me at work. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.